हाँ स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज स्टेट्स ऑफ ट्रांसक्शन सो वट एवर द ट्रांसक्शन यू आर डूइंग सो फॉर ईच ट्रांसक्शन देर आर डिफरेंट स्टेट्स सो बेस्ड ऑन द स्टेट वी कैन से इज अ ट्रांसक्शन इज सक्सेसफुल और नॉट ओके सो द डिफरेंट ट्रांसक्शन स्टेट्स और एक्टिव so one is active state okay next is partially committed state okay and there is failed state whether your transaction may be in failed state committed state aborted state and terminated state so these are the uh, altogether six states are there so whatever the transaction you can take that transaction may be in active state or partially committed failed state committed state aborted state or terminated state okay so here the read and write operations will be then while your state is going from active to partially committed state so if your state is partially committed then you have to make it as a if everything is fine in your transaction you have to make it as a permanent state by sending it to the committed so after committed the program will be terminated suppose the active any failures is occur in your transaction while you are doing the transactions if failure is occur it enter into the failed state otherwise if you are doing some work after read write operations also if some uh, means after the partially committed state uh, a failure is occur then it entered into the failed state from failed to it roll backs to the aborted state and then terminate the program okay so without executing so here the transaction without uh, executing means the values that in the database will not be changed if this the uh, uh, transaction entered into the failed aborted and terminated okay and if you take this line from active to partial committed partially committed to a, committed and terminated so in this cycle the transaction will make it as a successful and it should be consistent here it is consistent uh, database will be there and here it will be aborted Abo aborted also it should be a consistent you are making the main of the transaction using the transaction on the databases means you have to make the uh, you have to see that the database should be always in consistent state so while you are uh, doing the transactions on the database you make sure that whatever the transactions you are doing that transactions uh, should follow the acid properties and you and these acid properties will make sure that your it uh, always stay keep your database in consistent state okay so here suppose if you are doing some uh, your transaction is an active so whenever it is active if uh, it is doing the series of operations so the transaction is doing series of operations okay so after doing the series of operations it is reading and writing the operations and making them as a partially committed so partially committed means Uh, it is not saying that uh, whatever the data that you read and write is permanently stored in a database so whatever the transactions you are doing okay first those transactions will be those transaction will be stored in a buffer so you call it as a local memory so first the transactions whatever the work you are working on the transactions so that will be stored in buffer that is a local memory so this stage you call it as a partially committed you are not storing completely in database okay so here the buffer is uh, all the read and write operations will be stored in the buffer local memory so it checks after the completion of the operation if everything is satisfying the acid property okay 
if every uh, all the transactions is uh, satisfying the acid properties then it makes that statement to the permanent state with the help of commit so whenever you use the commit statement this uh, uh, values whatever that is there in the local buffer whatever the data that is uh, stored temporarily in the local buffer that will be moved to the main database okay so when uh, so after the committed that values will be stored in the database uh, so after that the program will be terminated okay so first the transaction will start uh, it uh, goes a series of operation and after the read write operations it went into the partially committed state that partially committed state will uh, all the values will store in the local buffer buffer local memory okay so mean it doesn't disturb the main database so after the committed operation then only those values will be stored in the database okay so before partial committed also the program may gets the failed uh, suppose if it is an active state if it is doing the series operation suddenly system crash is occur okay suppose a system crash or some power failure occurs it enter into the failed state okay suppose if it is in partially committed means all the values are already stored in the buffer local memory suddenly power failures power fails okay what it does it enter into the failed state so after entering the failed state it roll backs what did what this roll back will do the roll back this roll back will clears the buffer it clears the buffer local memory whatever the values that already stored that read write operations regarding to the transaction that already stored in local buffer so whenever it is failed roll back means it clears whatever the data that is present in the buffer okay and it is aborted aborted means it keeps unchanged so whatever the values that you make on the transactions that keeps unchanged and it should be terminated and keeping the database keep the database in consistent state without changing the values and it keeps the database in consistent state without changing the values so these are the different transaction states whenever uh, whatever the transaction you are doing that may be in active state or it may be partial state or it may be failed state committed aborted so after the completion of everything the program will be terminated and you have to make sure after terminating the database should be in consistent state okay thank you